What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership. It's 50 cents a day. And also, please don't forget to stop by CMP Kits. Get yourself a copy of Emotus Volume 1 50 Loops from me, 50 Loops from Asha Cole. Perfect, perfect for Rod Wave season. Perfect. For the baby season just perfect perfect period All right so what i want to look at today is i want to go over um something a piece of gear i bought right it's the uh, better maker mastering limiter um something something that was on my bucket list i finally found one for a decent price i picked it up and uh i've used it <laughs> i've used it to like compress probably probably 20 beats i haven't done a full song yet um, getting, you know, getting the hang of it and um, going through some tutorials and some manuals and seeing how people um, are really using this. What drew me to this was, um, uh, you know, like Mike Dean talking about um, using it a lot, um, you know, and just how loud their records are on streaming services um, and doing the research on this. What's really special about this piece of gear is it's not just a limiter. It has it has an it has a clipper on it as well and when you use the clipper in tandem with the limiter that's how uh pretty much everybody who masters with this particular piece of gear is getting like these super loud um 808 heavy um mixes right and what was funny to me was that um i had already kind of adopted this um this style of of uh of you know quote unquote mastering getting loudness inside of the box so i want to show you guys um you know maybe if you were thinking about getting this or maybe you know if you're like oh you know you don't necessarily like you think that like buying this is is you know going to get you um you know some type of golden ticket to loudness i want to show you what um what you can achieve w when you just use the um some of the skills uh, some of the skills that we already have, right? So if you have access to studio one tutorials.com, you know that um, inside of the Dropbox folder, we have the mixing cheat sheet, which shows you the correct levels to put your kick snare um, 808 and instruments at in order to prepare it for mastering to get like a reliable, loud master and mix perfect, clear mix every single time. The mixing cheat sheet is the cost of <laughs> the value of like 40 memberships, right? So I've got this beat right here and we're using, we're using the techniques um, employed on the mixing cheat sheet to set up. And it's already pretty loud. We're at like negative 12 RMS. Um, and I haven't, I haven't really done any compression. The only thing, the only thing that I got going on is some parallel processing on the drums and on the 808. So you see my peak is like, you know, going up around negative three. Um, this is going to negative nine. So the way that the way that I use the better maker and the way that people who mix the kind of stuff like like what we're listening to here use the better maker is they use the they use this um they use it to where the clipper is doing most of the signal attenuation and then the limiter is only doing one or two dBs, right? So if you have something like Oxford inflator or if you have something like uh frontier right which is free let's use uh let's use the free one so you guys can kind of get a uh, an idea of what we can do here so when you're using when you're using frontier right this is this is a limiter which has a soft clipper on it what you want to do is you just want to completely turn off the limiter totally and you want to turn you want to turn this soft clip on and what you're going to do is you're just going to push this output volume and and get this um get this get this device to clip right so let's do that
All right, so you've, so you, so you've got some soft clipping now that's doing most most of your attenuation, right? Now when you go into when you go into a limiter like a Pro L or something, you can um you could go ahead and um be here. You could put on like your Luffs meter or whatever uh, you know, whatever you whatever you want to look at. Um I like RMS. I know everybody likes to look at Luffs right now, so I'll show you guys in Luffs. But you see, I'm attenuating like one, like one dB and we're already at negative eight. If you listen to it, you still got your 808. Nothing, nothing is distorting, nothing, and nothing's crapping out, right? So if you wanted to, you know, if you wanted to get this down to like negative nine because you got OCD or something, or if you think that's important, you know, you could do, you could just back off the limiter, back off the clipper. I'm sorry. Um, so that's, that's the easy way with the free option frontier. I like to use the Oxford inflator. That's how these guys are getting these like super, super compressed. I mean, like super duper compressed waves, uh, getting things really loud. It's just, it's just this, this process here. And I mean, you could take it, you could take it even a step further. Like if you were, um, you know, cause I don't have like any mix bus compression. I just have like this mastering type of deal, but you could go into it even earlier with, um, like kind of um kind of what I do with my SSL6 mixer so if we replicate the settings here By doing a little light mix bus compression before you, you know, before you even hit, before you hit the clipper and then going into the pro L you can get super loud, but it's, it's really as simple as that, you know, keeping, um, so when you have a really simple beat, um, you know, something with 808s, you don't have to worry about your 808s crapping out or farting or anything like that. That's how you achieve it. Um, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys this quick and simple trick in case you were, you know, freaking out like, girl, I'll never get my stuff as loud as Travis because I don't have a better maker. All you need is a clipper and a limiter. That's all. That's all these guys are using. So you guys keep it simple. Do not be basic. And we will see you on the next one.